Good morning everybody, I'm the Yorkshire Fossil Hunter, welcome back to another episode. Uh, I'm on the Olderness Coast today, I haven't been fossil hunting for a while, mainly because I've been doing all my guided walks and uh, prep lessons and stuff like that during the summer holidays. So I have been fossil hunting, just not, not by myself. Uh, so yeah, I thought I'd come out today since I've got a random day off, do a bit of collecting, see what it's like on the Olderness. I've had reports that it's very, very sandy. Uh, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm off back up Whitby tomorrow for a load more guarded walks. But hopefully now the uh, summer's coming to an end, I'll uh, get out and doing a lot more collecting and a lot more videos for you. Beautiful morning. Right, I'll see you down on the beach. Right, first find of the day, and it's a little arnie block. You can see there's an arnie there. Oh, there's a big one there. Can you see that keel? Yeah, that'd be nice. I think it's an arnie, or it might even be a, a, a Corona Ceres or something. There's a bit of a double keel going on there. So, yeah, happy with that. Just about to come up to a boulder field. Not a bad start to the day. Right, I was just walking along and then some caught my eye. Look at the size of that fragment. Ugh. It's nearly as big as my hand. I'll check it for cutting and polishing. It looks a bit mud filled, but it's a beautiful example, so I'll try it. Right, so I've just come across this and it looks quite worn on the top, but let's have a look inside. There is definitely ammonites inside and what's weird is it looks like it's been hit and left but you can clearly see there's a keel there so I'll be taking that That's a bit nodule as well, maybe about a little bit of a tap but I think it's the wrong matrix Yeah, it's just a septarian Right, onwards and upwards. So this is only uh, a bellum night, but oh, it's a nice bellum night. Looks like it'll polish up lovely. So yeah, happy with that. Right, just found a lovely piece of coral. I think there's a there's a huge reverse coral there and some. Um, some other types of corals there, I can't remember what they're called, but that'll polish up absolutely brilliant. So in the bag it goes. Uh, I found a bit of flint and there's some, I think it's part of an echinoid. So it's only a fragment, but I don't find many of them, so I will keep it. Uh, and then it won't be a day without a couple of gryphia, would it? <laughs> right, onwards and upwards. <coughs> right, sorry about that, I just found a... Uh, this big nodule it had loads of stuff on the side, loads of uh, cross sections and there's loads of shells in it but there is a lovely little laminate as well so I'll take that, I like that, it's nice I also found another piece of coral so this is like the really fine stuff but it still cuts and polishes nice so I've got another lovely piece of coral I'm really moving on to my cut and polish stuff at the moment. I really enjoy doing it and seeing the detail inside. So any bits like this, I'll be taking. Right, I've just hit into a big nodule and the littlest ammonite came out of it, but that's nice. And it's, I'm not sure what it is. It's, it's unusual, so yeah, I like the unusual. See the cliffs are taking a bit of a battering at the moment. And then this, it almost looks like flint. I mean it could be, I'm not sure, but it's it's definitely coral. Um, you can see all the structure there, like the honeycomb structure. So yeah, that's nice. 
Right, the boulder field really did peter out, they got real sandy so I'm on my way back and I've just come across this lovely, I think it's a Cardinia bivalve but look at that, there's going to be some beautiful colours on that when I polish it off that's amazing well chuffed for that one both sides as well so yeah, I'm going to head back uh, if there's a couple of boulder fields north of where I'm parked I'll, I'll have a little scout about I'll see you soon. Right, I just come across this big old lump and it's uh it's full of shells and balanites. So it's probably worth a little bit of a explore. working with one hand I'll be back in a bit oh, that was bloody hard work so we've got only a couple of, there's a little plura in there and there's a decent sized one there so I won't hit that anymore I'll probably cut that and make a nice little display piece oh, but yeah that was friggin hard work oh. and then right next to it I've just noticed that a huge cat's paw oh. Like it might have a bit of calcite in it, so it's a big fragment of ammonite but on the side it looks like that's poor so that'll go in the bag bag's getting really heavy now, back to the old of the sea <sighs> don't know why we're bloody do it right that's me done for the day been so bad to say I've been here for a while and it's the end of summer. I thought it'd be pretty barren so we haven't done so bad have we? So don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to check out the new website www.theorkshirefossilhunter.co.uk or .com I think I've got both. Uh, there will be some stuff coming up for sale on there in a couple of weeks. Decided to uh, I'm gonna whip the website with a lot of stuff. Why not? <sighs> Right, I'll see you on my next adventure everyone.